Okay, let's talk about the Virginia SOL Algebra 2 exam. And if you're watching this video, I assume you are a high school student in Virginia and you're preparing to take this exam. So that's excellent because it shows that you are preparing or you're taking this exam seriously. It is a very important exam. All the SOL exams in Virginia are important. And uh, if you didn't know what SOL stands for, it stands for Standards of Learning. Okay, so uh, obviously um, you already being in high school in Virginia, I'm going to assume uh, maybe since your uh, freshman year, have already taken, uh, taken other SOL exams. So it's good that you're taking this seriously because it is a, uh, you know, important exam that you, you know, you definitely need to know. All right. So what we're going to do here is take a look at a practice problem, something that you should be able to handle at the algebra two level for sure. Um, so we'll get to that in a second, but before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Taba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math uh, teacher, and over several years I've constructed many online math courses. I actually have a Virginia SOL Algebra 2 test prep course, extremely comprehensive. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video if you want to check that out. But let's go ahead and get to this problem here. Okay, so uh, let me go and explain to you what I'd like you to do. So we have this, all right? I'm not going to give you too many clues here. <laughs> of course, I'm going to solve it here in a second, but uh, I want to give you a chance um, to, you know, think about this and try to re recall about it, recall what it is, is, um, so we have this expression. What I want you to do is to rewrite this, okay? I want you to, to expand this expression, all right? So let's see if you kind of remember what that means. So I have this. I want you to expand it. I want you to rewrite it in another way, expanding it so it's going to you know, uh, look, you know, bigger, it's going to be a bigger expression, if you will, uh, than what this is currently, uh, in. Okay. All right. So you maybe want to go ahead and pause the video and give that a whirl. Okay. So now I'm going to give you a little bit more of a hint here. if you're still struggling with it. So what do we have? Well, we have a logarithmic expression and when we study the logarithms, if you recall, and that's definitely a, uh, really important topic in Algebra 2, we need to be able to work with the properties of logarithms. And one of the things that you learn to do is to expand, okay, logarithmic expressions or condense them. Okay, this is really important when we're solving equations or just simplifying or working with uh, various logarithmic expressions. So what we're really kind of testing here, or what I'm testing is your understanding or uh, what you remember about the properties of logarithms. Okay, very, very important. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. This is actually a very simple uh, problem. I don't want to turn this into a full lesson on logarithms. This is a huge topic. But basically what we have here is what? Well, we have LOG. So what does that mean? Well, LOG, when you don't see anything else, means log base 10. That's a common logarithm. But if I had log base, let's say seven, I would have to write it like this, log base seven. And I'd always have to write that. But if I just write LOG, that implies log base 10 or the common logarithm. Okay, then we have here LN, which is log base E, but we don't write it that way, it's LN. So if you have LN or LOG, these are the only times when you're gonna see something that you don't have a little subscript down here indicating what the base of that logarithm is. Okay, so this is a common logarithm, log base 10. And what do we got going on? Well, I have three times x squared times y to the fifth, right? So this is a product. So here we have a uh, property of logarithms that uh, says that we can uh, separate each one of the factors in this product by uh, addition. So I can write this as log, uh, common log, log three plus log x squared plus log uh, y to the fifth power, okay? But I'm not done yet, okay? Here, there's nothing more I could do uh, at this stage. And log three, you can actually evaluate this in your calculator, it's some number, okay? But here and here, I can do uh, a little bit more. Okay, we have another 
property of logarithms that we could apply. All right, and it has to do with powers. So we're going to write this here, log base 3, write this over. Now log, let's write this up here, log x squared. What I can do is this little um, exponent, I can rewrite in front of the log. So this is the same thing as 2 log x. This is a really important um, property of logarithms. Uh, all of this stuff is important, but this one is uh, probably... Oh, it might be even a little bit more important than the others, at least in terms of solving equations. Okay, this is extremely important because the, the fact that we can take a an exponent and put it in front of the log allows us to be able to solve log equations, etc. Okay, so let's go and rewrite that as 2 log x plus, now here's the same thing, right? Log uh, y to the fifth, I can write this as 5 log y, okay? Now... That's the answer, and if you got this correct, that's excellent, okay? Now, another uh, version of this, uh, of, let's say, another problem I could have uh, given you was I could have given you this, and I said, well, instead of expanding, I want you to condense. In other words, kind of shrink this, rewrite this, do this in reverse, and this would have been the answer, okay? So if I'm condensing, I'm, I'm going to go from this expression back to the simplest form, if I'm expanding, I'm going to go from this expression to this, okay? You need to know how to kind of do both, and depending on what you're trying to do in terms of a logarithmic problem, you know, an equation or, or whatever the case might be, okay, you're going to have to be able to uh, both expand and condense, and this is all, again, uh, applications of the properties of logarithms. Of course, a lot more um, that we could talk about with logs Huge topic in Algebra 2, extremely important in mathematics. But um, anyways, hopefully you did pretty well. If you got this right, excellent. But by the no means, is you know that's an indicator that you're completely ready for this Algebra 2 exam. But if you didn't get this right, don't panic. Use this as feedback and um, you know go ahead and do what you have to do. Hopefully you have time before this exam to study. Okay, so uh, at the time of this video, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years. I have hundreds and hundreds of math videos that can help you out with this uh, Algebra 2 exam. So hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. You know, what do you think of math so far? I mean, Algebra 2 is, um, you know, it's a pretty advanced concepts in there, just like what we just talked about, logarithms. So, you know, uh, you know, you, at this point, students are typically either enjoy math or they don't really like math. But even if you're one of those people that don't like math, it's important that you stick with it and still do well. OK, because you're going to, you know, especially if you have any plans for college. And if you think that, oh, I'm not going to go to college, I'm not going to do that. You never know. OK, you might change your mind. All right. So you still want to learn as much math as you can now. Um, Again, I'm going to leave a, a link to my uh, Virginia SOL Algebra 2 test prep course. Extremely comprehensive. Like I think you'll be really impressed with it. But I always like to emphasize uh, to students is to make sure you listen to your teacher and fully maximize what they're recommending. Okay, which are you know, you always start with your teacher first, and then if you need something above and beyond that, then you can look for a program, something like mine, to help uh, supplement your uh, studies. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time. I wish you all the best on the Virginia SOL Algebra 2 exam, and have a great day.